So let's head back to base. Come on, get in there. There we go. All right, we're almost there. We're almost at nuclear power. Just need to bring the uranium fuel cells to the nuclear power plant. All we're missing is the drone port and I think the drone. I don't remember if I put down a drone at the drone port in the destination or not. So I'll have to test for that first. And how are we doing on bauxite? Oh! We're actually low on bauxite, so... Note to self, we need to get some... At least two MK3s. So we need supercomputers. Looking at that area real quick. Like, are we flooded with encased industrial beams? Let me check this now. Oh, I guess we can check this line. Oh, that's Caterium. So, the encased industrial beams, I need a better angle. But... Uh... I can't see the encased industrial beams. Is it under the caterium or under the steel? Uh, it's hard to tell. Okay, well, let's check it. Yeah, definitely not saturated, as you can see. So let's go up to the sixth floor. What I'm looking for is... Well... Hang on. Uh, MK3s. We need at least two of them. So we need... Supercomputers. And... You know what? Let's get... Hey, what the hell? I guess it's something I didn't clean up. But anyway. Let's do this. And that should be fine. So, we're gonna have to go back down. One floor down, and we will get... I guess we can top off the high-speed connectors, but I'm looking for the supercomputers here. Yeah, there we go. We only need one stack. And radio control units. And aluminum casings. Let's just fly down. Then we keep our storage of aluminum casings over here. And that is it. Still need to make the portable miners, but we can just make those on site. And sit back in here. We're gonna do sulfur and we're gonna do bauxite for the MK3s. So a little bit of a detour for the bauxite, but we can do the sulfur pretty much on the way.
We probably should check our power levels because we are pretty much losing power last I checked. They still had plenty of storage, so... Really gotta see where we're at. And there was also somewhere else that's not connected to the rest of the power network that pretty much got its fuse blown. I have no idea where that is though. It's like everything we built is connected to the same power network. Anyway, let's do our sulfur over here. Okay, where's our equipment? There it is. So we do need to get rid of something here. Okay, concrete. Oh, silica. Should have done that. I'll just build two of these. And then I'm gonna do this. I do get my power shards back, right? I probably did. Though I wasn't exactly watching this. Wait, is this being output? You are not outputting anything. What in the hell? Okay, that's definitely a bug, like... This doesn't connect to... That? Either way, that's good. It's been replaced with the MK3, so I'm not overclocking that anymore. Yo, know, it's probably faster if I just go through the hyper tube and then just backtrack to that area. Yeah, because the Caterium node is over here. I still need to travel, like, all the way over here. So it's much easier if I just go through the hypertubes first, and then go to the bauxite. Yeah, so it looks like I'm gonna need to put down an MK3 there. Maybe overclock it. Maybe. Really? Damage? So I haven't been here in a while. But it's been pretty much working this entire time. Everything's fully upgraded except for that MK2. Now if I kept something in storage up here, I don't remember what it is, so I'm gonna have to check. Did I keep storage up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so this is a pure node. Actually, I think an MK3 is all we need. Since this is a pure node. Now, is this bug going to happen again? Nope. It's outputting. You know what, just in case, let's just overclock it. 720. Give me the good stuff. And then we'll just ride this all the way down. Or not.
All right, let's fly back up here. You get closer to the power. There we go. Yeah, how's this doing? Okay, so everything looks good so far. So, all we need to do now is build the drone port. I do want just a little bit of space here. Okay, this will be uranium fuel cell is source. Okay, we are going to need some batteries. Where's the batteries? Oh no. They're not bringing batteries? Well, I guess... Wait, we don't need batteries. Never mind. Like, we have bat... Uh... The drone... Over in our, uh, nuclear power area. Hey, there's a slug there. The drone over in our nuclear power area is being supplied with batteries, so we don't need that. Okay, so how about this? Uranium fuel cells destination. And then we'll set it like that. This port uranium fuel cell source. Okay, so... What the hell is going on? Oh, right. One more thing. Okay, that's the output, that's input. Oh, right. Radiation. So, we're gonna bring this... ...to here. this in here. So this drone port is going to be radioactive. And it looks like this guy's coming out. Okay, we're at 41%. Before we go over there, I just want to check one thing. Do we have enough for pipelines? Because that's the only thing we need. Ew. We can do that. And it looks like this guy is loading up. Yeah, that's done. So, let's go back. Wait, is this still being produced? Okay, you're lifting off. And... 
How's our production here? Probably should put like a ramp here. Well, I'm just going to check to make sure that all of these are working perfectly. And it is. I'm going to just watch this. Because if the nuclear power plant kicks in, like this is just going to skyrocket. And it's not skyrocketing. Wait, you know what? I'm going to check this. So the drone should be over here. And it's landing. Yeah, it's just landing. So what I'm going to do, let's just go check our nuclear power and then once it's up and running we'll take a break oh my god it's like this entire supply chain is just so complicated spent a lot of time just building that area over there and then I just kept getting sidetracked so the expansion to steel in encased industrial beams will probably happen in the next play session. Let's go up here. Oh, bauxite is stuffed. Bauxite is like really stuffed. Oh, that's okay. And there we go. It looks like the nuclear power has kicked in. So you know what, let's just finish off that area. It looks like we have nuclear power now. Just need to connect all of the... All four of the nuclear power plants. Three of them will be disabled until we actually need them because I don't want to burn that nuclear fuel. And it looks like coal is saturated going into the battery production. Oh my god, I'm tired. This game is interesting, but it can also be quite tedious and very exhausting. But at the very least, I won't have to worry about power anymore. And I also don't have any nuclear material in my factory, so... This is pretty much a safe zone. And I don't think I need this drone anymore. I need... Okay, I'll clear it when I get on the ground again. Yeah, the drone is flying back. It looks like it's right back there. Let's check this again. Yeah, so let's get rid of let's clear this list. Then we'll go all the way over there. Yeah, I'm really glad I built this hypertube going to the nuclear power area. Like, it doesn't really need to connect all the way over to that hypertube entrance over there. It just needs to... I just need the hypertube to, like, traverse this area over here. 
and then this area on sides over there. Because it is pretty difficult to traverse. Is there a nuclear power? You know, there's probably something up there. And here we go, nuclear power. Oh yeah, I need to put this on. Uh... Wait. Oh, okay, so... It's all spreading to every single one of these power plants. So, 0.2 per minute. So, it takes 5 minutes to burn one of these. And the nuclear waste is all the way, going all the way over there. And we did have this turned off, so it shouldn't be burning through any fuel. Yeah, no fuel. Okay, so MK2s, we just need to... connect these over here. And then I'll check on the nuclear waste, see how that's doing. And this connects over here. And this connects all the way over here. Oh, what the hell? So this is interfering. Conveyor doesn't work. Ah, oh, damn it. I have to fix this. Stackable pipeline. Then let's try this again. Oh, come on. Can't you do something vertical? Okay, let's try this again. Put a stackable pipeline here. Okay, whatever. So this should now be filling up with water, and nothing is being consumed here because I turned them off. I will double check to make sure. Yeah, this is good. We're good. Alright, let's go over there. Can't wear my blade runners. I'm going over here. Okay, let's climb up here. So it should split evenly into these five different lanes of industrial storage containers. 11, 11, 23, 11, 11. Yeah, so this is fine. This is going to last a very long time, it looks like. Oh, all right. I think it's time to take a break. Got some uranium fuel cells over here. Okay, since it burns at a rate of 0.2 per minute and over in our production area, it's being made at a rate of 0.4 per minute. 
times three, so that's 1.2 per minute. So that's actually enough to saturate all of these. Anyway, what I'm going to do real quick, since we have staters in my inventory, I'm just going to put these here. Build some extra power storage. Except we don't have enough wires anymore. Okay, that's fine. I'll just store some extra power here. Alright, that's it. Let's head back to base. And then I'll set up for the next play session. So... Now that we have nuclear power, I can go crazy with all of the energy intensive stuff. Like, I can pretty much overclock like crazy. It means I'm going to need more slugs. I have to collect more slugs. But I also need to start working on the cooling systems and turbo motors and all of the other stuff that I need. I don't know how much more I need to build, but we need to get that automated. So I don't need to worry about these fuel generators anymore. They'll just burn whatever it is that they can burn. And we can pretty much leave this area as is. Like all of our excess stuff is going into the awesome sink. And this... Well, it looks like it's not really storing that much. Yeah, so everything is pretty much being burned. So that's fine. Oh, man. Or maybe I can go exploring for a little bit. Maybe. I mean, there are a lot of slugs I haven't picked up yet. We could use the power shards now that we have nuclear power. Oh, let's just head back to base first. We'll probably do that on the next play session. Okay, so we still need to work on that current milestone. I don't know what that unlocks. It might be the recipe for the other products that I need to automate. Probably. But there's still some other stuff we need to do. Like I need to expand the steel production over there. And I need to work on encased industrial beams. But we'll do that in the next play session. Let's just go through here. Let's go to our hub. So we don't need to worry about this these biomass generators anymore. Like no point in dismantling it. I don't need the space anyway, so we'll just leave it as is. You know what? I'll just end this play session in the bathroom. All right, let's save this. Power done. Because nuclear power is done. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.